Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you everything there is to know about the spot removal tool in Lightroom. The spot removal tool is located right here in the locals adjustments bar. So if you click it you will get a filter that is gonna look something like this and you are able to drag it around the screen. So I'm just gonna add a filter on this rock right here and what it does is it tries to get the different area of your picture to cover up for that spot that you've selected. This is not something you want to do with any area. The main reason you want to do this is to get rid of spots you don't like. So let's just say I don't like this rock right here. I'm just going to make the filter a little bit smaller, click on it, and Lightroom's going to find a spot that hopefully looks pretty natural that will cover up that spot. Now there are two different modes. Let's zoom in one to one here so we see it a little bit better. So there is the heal mode and there is the clone mode. Heal mode tends to give it a little bit of a more natural look and it really tries to blend in to make the picture look seamless and very natural, whereas the clone option just tries to really copy that other area and also not adjust any exposure. So in my opinion, I always have found that the heal works a lot better and I really don't use the clone tab at all. So as you can see, it did get rid of this rock that we had previously right here, but it didn't work all that well. Sometimes if you try and remove a spot, Lightroom will not do a great job. So sometimes you have to right click on your filter and just select new source and it will try to get a better looking part to cover up for that spot. It might take some time, um, sometimes it really takes a few attempts but this was pretty good actually. Let's try another one. So this looks pretty okay, definitely better than the first try, you know, sometimes you really have to do it a couple of times until you end up with something decent. And of course, the more complex the texture of the actual area you want to fill in is, the more difficulty Lightroom is going to have to find a nice texture and a nice spot to fill that in. But the main thing I actually use this for is to remove dust and dirt spots in my picture. So as you can see, if we zoom here in into the sky, you can see a pretty big dust spot that was on the lens and it really doesn't look pleasant. Before we remove that, let's just go over these sliders here. Size is pretty obvious. You just want to make sure that this inner circle is about the size of the spot. A little bit larger, but not that much. Just something like that to cover up the spot nicely. Then the outer circle is from the feather. The feather you can change to increase the amount of feathering around the edges. How much feather you want to use is definitely up to you. Personally, I like to keep it around 50 to 60. It's really a nice value. Everything below is a little bit too harsh and everything above really takes away too much of the scene. So let's go down here to around 60. Make sure that we have the size about the size of this spot right here. By the way, you can change the size of the filter by just scrolling up and down with your mouse wheel. So I'm just gonna click here and Lightroom is going to find a nice cover up for this spot. So here would be before, once Lightroom loads, and here would be after. So it really looks way cleaner and it's definitely a nice tool. Then opacity would be the last slider right here and I generally just keep that at 100. If you would bring that down then you would still see some of the background shimmering through. So you know if you cover up a dirt spot you don't want it just gone halfway. You really want to make sure that it's gone completely and I really don't think I've ever changed that to be below 100. So it's really a nice tool, especially if you're going to print your picture or if it's a picture that you want to, for example, display on a large monitor or anything like that. 
maybe upload to 500px or Flickr, I would suggest you just to go one to one once you're done with all of your other edits and just go mainly over the sky and for example lakes or water, anything with not much texture. If you're gonna have a little dust spot right here, it's probably not as noticeable as if it was in the sky or in the sea, you know, anything that has a lot of contrast between a dark dirt spot and the background. So it's a really cool tool, definitely very very useful and definitely makes your picture look way cleaner at the end. And I really see a lot of pictures that look great but they're just covered with dust and dirt spots and it really makes your picture look so much worse than it actually could look like with just a few spot removal tools on your picture. So I hope I could give you a good insight on what the spot removal tool is for and what you can use it for. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and if you did not find it helpful, please give me a thumbs down so I can improve my videos in the future. Also be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one, Lightroom tutorials, landscape photography edits, all kind of photography related videos. Thanks a lot for watching and please have an awesome day. So if you so there are is the so there are is the so if you so there are is the so if you so there are is the so if you